today we are learning how to trust a soccer ball. What's going on, Little Dab? It's Emily Grant, former pro, current college coach, and coach with Online Soccer Academy. Learning to trust a ball will improve your ball control. First touch is so important in this game. Taking a ball out of the air on your chest is part of having a great first touch. This video will cover the fundamental key points to chest trapping a ball straight forward. Key points. Key point one. Arms in, not out. When the ball is coming to your chest, you want your arms in. This will help protect you in case a defender crashes into your side. What you don't want is your arms out like you are trying to fly away. You certainly don't get style points for that. Key point two, feet shoulder width apart. For good balance, have your feet shoulder width apart. Key point three, have a slight bend in your knees. Key point four, lean back slightly. As the ball is getting close to you, lean back slightly in preparation for receiving it. If you lean back too far, the ball will go behind you or up too high. If the ball goes behind you and you didn't want it to, that's a bad touch. If the ball goes up too high in the air, it's not that it's a bad touch, but it's not a smart touch. The reason is it takes an extra second or two for the ball to come back down. This extra second or two is more time for a defender to close you down. You don't want that. The ball should hit right below your clavicle bone and right above your chest line. Key point six, cushion or pop the ball. If the ball is coming hard at you, then cushion the ball in by absorbing it right when the ball is about to hit you. You do this by leaning back right when the ball is about to hit you. It's like catching an egg. Would you catch an egg like this? No, because it would hit your hands and break. You'd catch an egg by cushioning it in. Same idea applies to a fast ball coming at you. If the ball is coming soft at you, then you need to pop the ball off your chest more. This is because the ball's natural momentum isn't much, so you have to give it that extra pop. Key point seven. Control the ball one to two feet ahead of you. In most situations, when chest trapping, you want your touch to put the ball one to two feet ahead of you. If the ball is too close to your body when you trap it, then it's awkward to try to kick it on your second touch. Versus taking a touch one to two feet ahead of you and this sets you up for a smooth kick. Remember, it's not easy to make it look easy. You want to be the type of player that makes it look easy. An exercise to practice is chest trapping with a partner. You will need a partner and a ball. Have your partner stand a few feet away with the ball in their hands. They toss it to you with two hands and underhand service. You control it on your chest and pass it back on the ground or out of the air depending on your skill level. Repeat this for one minute and then switch. Do two sets each. Mini bonus tip. It's easier for the player receiving the ball if it's a firm straight toss versus a high lob toss. How to make it more challenging. After two sets, make it more challenging by having your partner mix it up and serve it to you faster and softer versus perfect every time. This way, you have to adapt as the ball is traveling whether you should cushion it or pop it forward. Repeat this for one minute and then switch. Do two sets each. What's wrong? If the ball is going up too high or behind you when you trap it, then you are leaning too far back. Remember, it's a slight lean back, not a limbo lean back. Bonus tip, don't be scared when the ball hits you. If you're like, ouch, I hope this doesn't hurt, OMG, I hope the ball never comes to me in the air, then you're bound to have a bad touch. Yes, it might hurt when you are first learning to chest trap, but you'll get over it. Be a baller, not a baby. Hope you enjoyed this online soccer academy video. Click here to watch our incredibly helpful 200 plus free videos. Go here if you want to believe in its shirt and go here if you're a coach and want to host an OSA soccer camp. My name is Emily Grant and remember, if you believe in it and back that up with hard work, anything in life is possible. Believe in it!